So I'm wondering, how do you handle death at Ananda? There was a death in the community that really, I think, changed all of us, the young woman. And when she knew the end of her life was coming, she called all her friends. There was about 25 of us. And we all moved into the hospital with her. And for the last three days of her life, she felt, well, we've spent our life together. Why don't you now just spend my death with me? And we watched her finish her karma. She lay there day after day, trying to think of anything that wasn't resolved. And she asked people to come and see her, or she called them on the phone and tried to make peace with absolutely everything. And then finally, when there was really nothing left, that last evening, when it was becoming night and some of us were sort of sleeping here and there in the hospital, Paula very deliberately took out of her nose the supplemental oxygen. And when we saw her do that, we realized she'd made her decision. And then she lay down, and maybe for an hour or two, everything was quiet. And then she woke up and sat up and seemed very concentrated. And then she said very quietly to all of us, this is very hard. You have to help me. And then we started chanting Om very quietly and steadily in the room. Om is the sound of the spirit, the transition between this world and the next. So we're all chanting Om and just listening to Paula breathe in and breathe out. And then after a few moments, she opened her eyes and she looked up and she said, God, Christ, Guru. And then she closed her eyes again. And a few minutes later, there was that long exhalation as the spirit leaves. And just as that long exhalation came out of her, it was as if that breath itself transformed into like a mighty angel. And I felt, I felt like a wind go over my head. And it was as if released from her body, it was like our souls came together. And I just began to weep. I couldn't contain myself. And I said, I had no idea we were so close. When you see people die like that, you think, oh, what is there to be afraid of? It's the end of life for everyone. Let's just accept it with the grace in which God has given it to us.